Should you be spending your hard-earned money on cheap tools from Teamu? Well, today we're going to find out. And this is a two-sided wrench, and it goes from 916 to 78 on the left-hand side here, and 516 to half inch on the right-hand side here. Some metric measurements too. And what this is, well, it's multiple wrenches in one. I've never seen anything like this before. It kind of looks a little bit funky, and the only reason I to think of why you'd ever get this is if you have a small storage area and you don't want to get too many wrenches, you might get this so you can have multiple wrenches in one. But I think the best thing to do is test this out and see if it's any good. So we could try this wrench out on this knob here. And oh, so it fits on. Oh, I can't turn it because it's hitting up here. So, um, <laughs> Well, well, this isn't working out very well. That doesn't do a good job for there. So it's too big. So because it covers so many different sizes of nuts, it you can't actually turn it in the area. So where this would be good is on an area where it's open on the back. But I don't think that would be a good option. So my carriage door, it's actually on the back of the garage door. And I think I can, yeah, plenty of room to get this on here. And then turning this, it's kind of hard because it's a flat wrench. I mean, it works. And what size is what in here? I have no idea. It's just grabbing a tooth. I don't think it's even. I think it's kind of, it wanders a little bit. Yeah. So it's kind of an odd thing how accurate these are. I don't know how to even measure that. Is this a good thing? No, it's a piece of junk. Well, that wrench sucked, so don't buy that wrench if you're looking at getting tools from Team U. This next product, this is why it's really important to read the descriptions of these products fully. So when this package arrived, I'm looking at it going, there is no way one of the products fits in this package. And that's because the product did not fit in this package. I got a piece of the product, and that product is well, it's a grandpa's weeder. It's a complete ripoff of the brand Grandpa's Weeder. You can put this into the ground, tilt it back, and it will pull up any weeds completely by the root, or that's what it's intended to do. It works really well on dandelions where they have one main root instead of having multiple roots. And, well, there's no handle. So how are you meant to use this? And that's where reading descriptions on TeamU is really important. Reading descriptions on any product you're about to buy is really important, but more so here because I have to go out and buy a handle and I'm not gonna go and do that for this here. I mean, it just highlights that you really do need to watch out what you're buying and just make sure you don't get scammed. So this is a scam here. Um, it's not a scam if you read it properly, but I think they do that on purpose to make you buy things that are not as they appear. Um, so yeah, just be aware, don't get that. By the time I go and buy a pole, I may as well go and buy a brand like the Grandpa's Weeder. You may have noticed that I have a branded shirt on, it's DIY with Cam, and I just launched this merch line. If you wanna support the channel, you can check out the shop link just below, go over there and get one for yourself. And if you do get one, I thank you very much for helping support the channel and allowing me to bring more content like this to YouTube. Next up, we have a metal shear that looks more like a torture device of some kind. <laughs> um, it comes with a spring, and I'm really curious to see what this spring is for. Um, attaches to a battery drill, so you can turn your battery drill into a metal shear, which is kind of handy because how else do you cut metal? You might have to use your by hand, it's not gonna be a very clean cut. So maybe this can make a clean cut on a piece of metal. We've got a piece of old 20 aluminum to cut, so let's get this hooked up to the drill and let's we'll see if it works. But this looks like, it, well, that goes in there, so. It's kind of loose, but we'll see. And then I'm guessing the spring goes on over here. This looks crazy. It's literally held on by a spring. Like that. Wow. Well, let's see if it cuts. So we got a piece of, our piece of aluminum here. Um, that does spin. I'm gonna keep my fingers clear when it's gonna be cutting. <laughs> um, I'm gonna turn, let's see. 
Definitely have your drill set to the slow speed set and it goes way too fast. Uh, I don't, let's see if we can kind of control this a little better. That's not bad actually. Wow. If you're looking to do something that's going to be rough cut, I think this might be a, an all right tool to have. I kind of made a mess up on this side here, but if you're using this as a piece of flashing or something, you can kind of bend this around and you, you never see that. Do a straight line. Hey, that, as long as you keep the edge you want to keep on this side of the drill, it actually makes a really nice cut. The camera can pick that up. It's actually nice. And it's not sharp either. You know, I'm not saying I can't cut my finger on it, but it's not bad. Why would you buy one of these? Well, if you need to cut pieces of metal, thinner gauge metal, this could be a good option for you. If you don't have an expensive shear or brake press or something like that, then how else are you meant to cut metal? You've got to do it by hand. This actually did a really nice job on one side of cutting this aluminum that I have here. So if I were going to be doing some piece of work around the house where I need to cut a metal, I may consider getting this metal cutter here. But for the most part, this thing's going to sit in my toolbox and not do anything because I don't do a lot of work with metal that this thing's going to work with. That's something to consider. This is a tool that you'd buy if you have a specific need for it. But why would you go to TeamU to get this? I have no idea. You might just be better off buying it pre-made from a store or getting a friend with the tool needed to do it. And the next tool we have is this little chainsaw thing. Should I have bought this? Probably not. Should I use this? Probably not. Why did I buy it? It looked kind of cool and could be something good to have around, but when you pull the trigger, it does spin. I think we just need to go and test it out and cut something. So if this video ends here, you'll know exactly what happened. Um, let's make sure this is tight. I'm not gonna put it on the fastest speed setting and we're gonna try this out. So this is a tool I'd recommend that you do not buy. I'm going to call it a scam product from TeamU because it has no purpose. I don't. You can't do fine woodworking with it. You can't cut wood with it because that was a piece of pine and it really struggled. You could maybe do some tree trimming outside with this. I don't think it's very safe. You're better off getting a set of shears or spend a little bit more money on getting a Ryobi chainsaw that's a little bit smaller. It's on the 18 volt platform. It's gonna be a lot safer. It's gonna be a lot more effective than this. So I'm gonna call this one of these scam products that, well, they're just gonna clutter your garage or wherever you store things and you're never gonna use it. And if you do use it, it kind of is a little bit dangerous, a little bit too dangerous for my liking. Luckily, I had this vacuum lying around so I could, you know, pick up the mess that the chainsaw made. This thing is pretty sucky. All the dust is starting to fall back out of the end. So that kind of, well, that sucks. Uh, the filter doesn't fit in here properly. I have no idea why you would buy this. This appears to be one of those junky tools that you would just end up giving to someone, having it lying around and never use it. And this is the main issue I have with Team U. A lot of their products are just junk that you'll never use, looks like it could be a good idea to get, and then you'll just never use it ever again. I don't recommend you get one of these little vacuums. It doesn't really serve much purpose. I don't know why you'd ever use this. Just get your vacuum out and clean out your car if that's what you need to do. It's not gonna do anything much for you. Next up, we have a very cheap flashlight. It's got four modes. It's got a bright mode. It's got a slightly duller mode. It's got a flashing mode. And then it's got the mode that'll blind you if you've got it pointed in the wrong direction. This one. So let's take it outside and see if it's any good. So there is some light behind me here, but you can see my fence there. So let's just turn this light on in the brightest mode setting. That. That's actually really good. So if you are out in the woods, like out back there, you'd be able to see where you're going. That's a slightly lower mode setting. Then it's a, then it's a strobe, we're at the club now. And then that's this side here, which is still pretty bright. If you've watched this video, you may be wondering, should you buy any products from Team U? And the simple answer is no. I don't care if it's a good product or a scam. I don't agree with how Team U are doing business. It's in the US with junk, in my opinion. 
They're also harming reputable companies who manufacture worldwide by ripping off their products and selling them at a low cost. These companies have put a lot of money into R&D and Timu comes along, completely rips it off. So overall, I'd recommend you do not buy tools from Timu. But if you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one over here. So if you go and watch that one, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you over there.